Hello students, welcome to YouTube channel Vidya for Success. In this video, let us start a new chapter Input, Output and Memory Devices. Input Devices. So, before starting this uh, input device topic, let me discuss is input and output devices really important for our computer? Yes, input devices as well as output, they are very much important because they are acting as an interface between the external environment and the computer. So if the user wants to, if he wishes to send out any of the messages, data or if he want to feed data to the computer, that can be only done with the help of the input device. Similarly, on the contrary, if the user expects certain answers uh, furnished to him in terms of his understandable format or understandable for language, then again you need to take the help of output devices. That's why both these input device and as well as the output device, they are very much important. They will be used to feed the data for, for the uh, in order to get the output. So input devices, there are different varieties of input devices available in the market, but among them all, uh, the very important input devices are keyboard and another one is mouse. So what is an input device? So an input device is used to feed data into a computer. The human understandable form is converted into a machine understandable form. So uh, let us take the case of keyboard. So via keyboard we will be feeding information to the computer. We will be give, giving the data maybe in terms of numbers, digits, text, whatever the things. But the computer, it can't understand the human, uh, human understandable language. So the, if the computer wants to process it, then this uh, computer uh, or human understandable language need to be converted into 0 and 1. Then only the computer can understand, then only the computer can work with those data. So that's why apart from reading the data, apart from feeding the data to the CPU, another duty or the task of these input device is to translate them, is to convert the data from human understandable format to the machine understandable form. So all these input devices, whether it may be keyboard, mouse, whatever the device, all of them, they will be having an inbuilt mechanism or an inbuilt uh, uh, circuitry which will take care of converting the human understandable form to a machine understandable form. Now let us talk about keyboard. So each one of you have uh, uh, surely 100 with 100 percent surety I can say each one of you have uh, uh, seen this keyboard. Okay. So keyboard what, what it is, it is a hardware. So nothing but it is a device which you can touch, which you can feel. Okay. So why are this um, device? We can feed data to the computer. And keyboard is one of the standard input device. There are too many other devices that are available in the market. Uh, maybe a light pen, maybe mouse, joystick. But among all those input devices, keyboard is a standard one. Why it is a standard one? Because using keyboard, you can key in alphabets, you can key in numbers, special symbols, digits. So you can uh, do a lot of things. Certainly you can perform certain operations. You can control sound, video, all the th other things. So that's why keyboard is referred as the standard input device. Next. So a uh, keyboard is an input device. What is the use of this device? It converts alphabets, numbers and special characters into electrical pulses. As soon as you click on a particular key on the keyboard, that uh, key will be actually converted into sequence of zeros and one. Okay. Nothing but they are referred as electrical pulses. So, okay. so actual character what you have uh, clicked on the keyboard, they will be converted to a sequence of zeros and one. These sequence of zeros and one they are referred by the name electrical pulses, which the computer can understand. Okay, it can't understand human, human understandable language. It can understand only the sequence of these zeros and one. That is nothing but bits. Uh, Next, uh, in keyboard, the we always talk regarding the standard keyboard. So, what do you mean by standard keyboard? Nothing but it will be having around uh, one out five to one out eight uh, keys. As you can notice on the keyboard, there are too many different types of keys available in the keyboard. Uh, so uh, starting with escape key, F1, F2 like this. Similarly, you know, there are certain numbers key, special symbols, alt key, tab key, okay, enter key, space bar key, all this. So, and this, this dedicated is called as numeric keypad in order to perform calculation at a faster rate. So these are arrow keys, similarly page up key, page down key. So uh, a standard keyboard will be having all these keys. Usually the standard keyboard will be having 105 to 108 keys on it. Next, uh, uh, keys are arranged in a particular fashion. 
if you notice this keyboard so how the keys are arranged as they were arranged in the olden typewriters even to, nowadays we are using typewriters in even in typewriters the keys are arranged in qwrt fashion qrt fashion why they are arranged in such a fashion because we here we will be following Ag ag ergonomics ergonomics philosophy will be following what do you mean by ergonomics nothing but here we will not be giving stretch uh, uh, stress to any one of the particular finger all the fingers will be e given equal importance so in case if you are working in only one finger then lot of stress will be felt on that particular finger and, and then you start startly you will be feeling pain and you will not be able, able to move your fingers properly that may not uh, a, a, a tunnel syndrome will start so here we have gone with the new process that particular procedure is called as uh, uh, ergonomics which will make sure all the fingers are better used so that's why we will be arranging the keys in the keyboard in a qrt fashion that is we start with you can notice a q w e r t by qrt fashion okay all the keyboards the keyboards can be from different um, brands they can be from eyeball hp whatever the brand but they have to follow the standard layout Okay, so uh, this uh, procedure of laying keys, uh, where we will not be putting stress on any one particular finger, that concept is referred as ergonomics. Okay, so here we will be following the QRT fashion. Next, uh, uh, within a keyboard, usually there will be three categories of keys. Okay, so what are the three different categories of keys? The first one is alphanumeric keys, next special keys, and another one is functional keys. Okay, so let us look at the alphanumeric keys. What do you mean by alphanumeric? Nothing but keys which will help us to uh, feed alphabet as well as numbers. Okay. So, the keys on the keyboard which will help us to feed alphabet as well as numbers. Alphabet may be uppercase or lowercase. Along with that, we can also feed numbers from 0 to 9. They are all referred. All these keys, they come under this category of alphanumeric keys. So, again in alphanumeric keys, alphabets, numbers and special symbols. So, what are the different special symbols here? So, just like uh, uh, less than symbol, greater than symbol, comma, question mark, forward slash, backward slash, at symbol, pound symbol, dollar symbol. Uh, 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 so, these type of brackets. So, all these come under special keys. So, alphanumeric keys, they will be having both alphabets, numbers and other special keys. Next one is... Uh, special keys. So, what are special keys? So, special keys are nothing but those keys which will help us to perform special activities. Usually, these special keys are used in combination. Always they are used in combination. So, the special keys will perform specific tasks. For example, I want to copy a particular image or a particular text. So, then I will be using control C to paste control V to cut control X like this to, uh, to perform specific tasks. The same task can also be performed using uh, the menu bar, but it will take a lot of time. That's why, we, what can you do? You can take up a specific button or a combination of keys can be used to perform a specific task. So, they are referred as special keys. So, for example, written key or as enter key, it is also for me familiarly, they are referred as enter key. Next one is alt key, next tap key. Tap key is used to move the cursor by 0.5 inches. Next one is control key. So, delete key. So, all the referred as special keys. So, this, some more keys are all come, also come under the special keys, space bar, all these things. Okay. Next one, functional keys. So, what are functional keys? So, they will perform a specific function and their function, these functional keys, uh, they will behave depending upon the application. For example, if I want to save a MS Word document, then I can make use of control S or else control S can be used or else I can directly hit F2 key, functional key F2. So, the functional key F2 will help me to save my document. But the same F2 functional key will be having some other behavior in another application, maybe in MS Paint or some other application. So, their behavior will alter according to their application. Okay. So, what is a functional key? A functional key performs various functions and they depend on the application, in which application they will be used. Okay. So, what are the different, how many functional keys are there totally? Totally, there are 12 functional keys are there on top row. 
starting row of the keyboard you can see uh, after escape button there is a key f1 key f2 key f3 f4 up till f12 so totally you will be having 12 functional keys will be there each functional key will perform a set of activity a specific function okay sometimes they can also be referred as macros anta kuda maadkoltivu namu so macros maadkondu just if you hit a particular button a set of operations in uh, one or two more operations maadtidire adannella one single stroke alli work maadlikagutte so adanna functional keys anta refer maadtivi next coming to the types of keyboards so there are different types of keyboards available in the market you cannot say uh, you can go with only one type of keyboard it all depends upon the nature of application el use martidira space constraints yes jaga da nimige work madlike on all these factors you can choose a particular uh, keyboard so the first type of keyboard is a standard one standard keyboard okay so standard keyboard na start previous dal torisida nimige standard keyboard rute usually they will be having 105 or 108 keys irutade consisting of alpha numeric keys special keys functional keys arrow keys numeric key pad irutade right side alli so all these facilities facilities will be there with the uh, standard keyboard another one is wireless keyboard anta bartade before this wireless keyboard let me talk about multimedia keyboard nimma book al helila adana so what is multimedia keyboard uh, as you can notice here this is a multimedia keyboard so usually 105 to 108 buttons irutade added to that they will be having some more extra buttons here and there itra la extra buttons irutade using which you can control the multimedia what do you mean by multimedia you can control sound you can control movies pictures images ellana control madlikagutte video nodtirtira suddenly you want to take a uh, still for image on tagolbekadru da video do so avaga en martti adon particular button na press madidra right? or suddenly you want to launch internet so specific button will be there you just you click on that hit on that similarly you can control the voice video uh, sound jaasti madabodu sorry audio sound jaasti madabodu kammi madabodu mute madabodu so you can control multimedia so they are referred as multimedia keyboards anta refer maarti one one variety baruta nimma textbook alli helida next uh, followed by that another one is referred as uh, wireless keyboards so what are wireless keyboards so these uh, standard keyboards they will be connected to the computer via the wires cables cables mukantra nam connection maadkondu irtivi always you the, these cables they are uh, uh, always messy they will uh, usually mo, you know lap, keyboard ge keyboard ide matte mouse ide ant helidre eradu mur wire ella hogirutte they will uh, tangle among themselves it is a difficult uh, task to, to separate them work madlikella kashta agutte so that's why and also you cannot carry them to a longer distance just 1 meter you know cable irutha adakke dura elkond hoglik agodilla so better version is you can go with wireless keyboards using wireless keyboard again the same way you hege key standard keyboard will work martiri in the same fashion you can work with wireless keyboard but here connection will not be via wire it will be via bluetooth ir in the or radio waves in the connection maadkondirtivi ओके सो द सेम हेग स्टैंडर्ड कीबोर्ड वर्क मैं सेम इे तरू कर्क आगते बट हियर दिर् नो वायर सो आराम से यू कैन क्यारी इट यू कैन वर्क अनद वेरैटी इज रिकॉर्ड एज कॉम्पैक्ट कीबोर्ड्स सो वाट यू मीन बै कॉम्पैक्ट कीबोर्ड्स स्माल वर्षन आफ वाट से कंप्यूटर्स मे डी पी टी एस अंत पोर्टेबल डिजिटल असिसटेंस आगे बहुत अथवा सण्ड ने पैड्स ने बुक्स अंते सण सण ऐपटा वर्षन बरत सो इन दोस कंप्यूटर्स स्माल स्माल सैज कंप्यूटर्स यू विल बी हैविंग अ स्मा सैज कीबोर्ड Nothing but you will not be having this uh, uh, numeric keypad. This numeric keypad is called numeric keypad facility. It is extra. This numeric keypad is provided to do calculations at a faster rate. So faster calculations are made. So account level is made. Work work is done. So faster work is done. Or else you need not have to use it because the numbers and arrows or everything will be here only. It is not done. It is not done. So again, these compact keyboards, wherever there is a place constraint, just jaga illa, then you can go with compact keyboards. So use made. Work is done. next followed by this another one is virtual keyboards so this is very very important uh, type of a keyboard so what is virtual keyboard whether it is an hardware no not at all it is not an hardware it is a software enabled keyboard okay so you usually you can see go notice the them in your uh, smartphones in your smartphones you are not having extra keyboard connected to your uh, device so this in keyboard bartha it is a software enabled keyboard ide adu 
ಓಕೆ ನೀವು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಒಂದು ಪಿಕ್ಟೋರಿಕಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಕೀಸ್ನ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇರ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ವೈರ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕೀ ಏನೇ ಕೀ ಮಾಡಿದರು ದೋಸ್ ಕೀ ಲಾಗಿನ್ಸ್ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಏನು ಕೀಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಏನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕೀ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಥ್ರೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕಂ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಲ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ಕೀ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕೀ ಇನ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಥರದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಿಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೋನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಪ್ಯಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನವರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೀ ಕೀ ಏನು ಏನು ಕೀ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ ವೈರ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಕೀಬೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂ